Hi, just servicing this Mini Eppy here, and uh, just thought I'd show you how to do an oil and filter on it. Probably do the air filter as well, but I'll do that in a separate video. Um, but we got it running up the temperature now. First thing you want to do is get it nice and hot. So it's running up the temperature. I've just walked around, done some safety checks, checked the lights and things like that. And then we're going to dive in now straight in with the oil change. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is lift up the dipstick and remove the oil cap, just to release the pressure in there. And we're going to crack on and remove the oil filter. Here's the 27mm uh, socket. Just put that down. Don't put it all the way in. Just move it out of the way. And just twist this all the way off. Right. I'm not going to remove that yet. I'm going to let the oil settle down in it. The oil settle down now and makes a lot less mess. Just pull that all the way. Now let's slide underneath and drop the oil. Now let's slide underneath with a, a 17mm spanner. It's the sump plug is just on the side of the sump here. I couldn't get a tidy angle, but you can work at where it is from this shot. And what we'll do is just crack it off just slightly where you can get the, the room and the angle and everything. Once it's hand tight, we're going to slide the bucket underneath the catch it. I was just going to spin it off the rest by hand. I'm going to speed this up so you don't get bored. But what I like to do is, on the last few threads, lift it up and then peel away so you avoid the arc of the oil. I don't do it too well on this time. I get a bit of oil on my hands, but you get the picture. You can do whatever suits you. Now leave that drain. I'm going to pop up and do the, uh, the air filter. While that oil's draining, I'm going to come up top and change the air filter. So, uh, hop over and see my other video. Right, now I've finished the air filter, so let's put the oil filter back in. Nice clean oil with the uh, oil on the seal to help stop it from ripping and help it seal. And then just twist it in by hand. These only go up to 25 newton meters, so you only need to, to nip it up. You don't need to put any sort of force or strain on this whatsoever. And that will do. Now slide underneath, put the sump plug back in, and then top it back up with oil. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, bye.